What is habitat change and habitat fragmentation? Habitat change is the process by which humans alter a habitat enough so that the species can no longer live there. Habitat fragmentation is when we alter small areas within a larger area bit by bit. This leads to passages of habitats separated by urban development, roads, agriculture, and much more. This has a huge effect on animals like the northern wolf, which requires a lot of land to interact and to survive to keep its species niche. When habitat change occurs, the species in the habitat have no other option but to either die or to move to another habitat. A great example of habitat change is in the tropical, uh, tropical rainforest in Brazil, also known as the Amazon forest. The Amazon forest was once a huge tropical forest, high in biodiversity and filled with amazing wildlife. Now only a little is left and is being cleared to create pasture for cattle. Because of this, many species from the Amazon have gone endangered and are suffering as they have nowhere to go. There is more than just one way that habitat change and habitat fragmentation can occur. The greatest cause of habitat change and fragmentation nowadays is from climate change. For example, one of the greatest causes of climate change is pollution, which leads to global warming. Global warming is all the toxic gases in the air that can destroy our atmosphere and allow sun, sun radiation to enter our Earth, thus causing our Earth's climate to increase. Global warming also affects aquatic habitats as it causes evaporation, and when it rains, global warming causes acid rain as toxins mix with water in the air. When the rain falls on the air, it doesn't only affect aquatic systems but also habitats on land. Global warming also causes natural disasters that can lead to habitat change and fragmentation, like ice cap melting in the northern and southern poles, and forest fire. Habitat change and fragmentation throughout our world has been caused by our actions, from the amount we pollute the atmosphere to expanding urbanization. Clear cutting, selective cutting, transportation, manufacturing, all these factors have caused habitat loss. This is not only causing species and other animals to suffer, but it's affecting us strongly. Not only are we losing many animals, we are also losing many resources such as fresh water from rivers and lakes, wood and oxygen from trees, and meat from animals. All of our actions are affecting our lives and the lives of our future generations, and this all needs to stop before it's too late. We can all help fix the problems we have created by reducing our carbon dioxide emissions, so that we can stop global warming and climate change from melting the northern and southern ice caps and prevent forest fires. Urbanization is another huge factor of habitat change. To prevent this, we can start by using flat plains or grasslands to build housing on as they don't have many species. Transportation is one huge cause of habitat fragmentation, as roads separate habitats from one another and cause many road kills. To prevent this, we can instead of building roads through forests, build them around forests to prevent mass road kills and habitat fragmentation. Another way to stop habitat change is by saving our trees and stop clear cutting, as they have huge effects on forest habitats. When it comes to aquatic habitats, we have to stop using the bottom trawling method, as it destroys thousands of habitats underwater and kills thousands of different fish species. We can start helping by starting campaigns to help save our forests and save our species by donating to help keep our forests and animals safe and protected. We are the ones who started all this in the first place, and now it is our job to help fix it.